<laughs> Good evening, Warband. Well, trying out Streamlabs. I still cannot quite get it running to Odyssey. However, I will post the link to where it's currently going in Odyssey so that uh, we can get to it later. I gotta figure out this multi streaming stuff, but good evening. I have a terrible confession to make. I have deceived you, misled you. I have led you astray from how you should be, given a false impression of who I am. Ah, uh, but I am a fed, and it has come to light through an in-depth investigation. My guest, who thankfully is coming on to elaborate on the details of his in-depth examination of my personality and what I speak of. <laughs> so, we are going to welcome to the stream, Chris Mitchell. All right, here we go. Test, test, one, two. Hey, Chris, you there? Shit. Shit. <laughs> well, I can hear you, so. Okay, sorry. My fingers were covered in tape and mud, and it was on the screen. All right. Wouldn't let me hear, but now we're good. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So. Are we live? We... Yeah, we are live right now. Say hello to the chat. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. All right. So we are going to be watching a segment from One Fast Act stream on the 5th. Yep. Just stream with the Emperor starting at 157.25. Okay. And we'll just see where that leads us. My channel no problem, buddy. one of the only channels that's around that actually has porn playing. Hope you don't mind. I'm still working well on that. Do you want to mute me and tell you talk? Okay. Hermit, Hermit's live stream with her is up, Billy, if you have the chance care. or time. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll check it out. Cause yeah. yeah. I, just, yeah, you, that, I, I hear... Great. Are you there? Yeah. I've got it playing uh, through the stream itself. So. So I don't hear it? Well, not unless you got the stream pulled up. One of the downsides of using Discord for this, unfortunately. I could probably share my screen, though. Um, well, when you get to the point where you uh, want to talk about whatever was said, just tell me what I said, and we'll go from there. How's that? Eh, well, I got the stream pulled up, but probably easier for live, but we'll go with whatever works. All right. All right, continuing. Or, you know, like yesterday you guys were talking about this gray guy, and like I just don't know who these people are. Yeah, gray I don't really know anything about them, but I've I seen it and hear that. enough of, of you guys talking about these people. So yeah. I'm like, okay, so what's their story? Well, I mean, it's just my personal opinion of what you heard yesterday was my personal opinion on, you know, gray's basically ideas towards how we should conduct ourselves, you know, in this yeah. uncivil world that's completely here to fucking snuff you out um you know he he talks about oh you should be afraid of mm -hmm. of this and that and it's like you know you could these people that go yeah. these um yeah you know what you call um one man missions mm -hmm. they generally end up dying and blah 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 and it's like dude literally the same fucking day yeah Ten people were killed in the fucking street with knives, and fifteen more were sent to the fucking exactly. hospital, all I because followed the fucking narrative that he preaches. Yeah. Okay, Chris, did you catch that? Yeah. All right. And what's the problem? Ah. It's like uh. Okay, when I called you a glowy, okay. I'm, I'm thinking that's what upset you the most. Um, well, right there, I... you implied that I am preaching a pacifism on, in a way that uh, gets people killed. That because well, I tell people it. not to go on one-man missions, 
uh, 15 uh, I, people not... are hospitalized and 10 or more are dead. Yeah, but it's not the, it's not the, uh, the, obviously the two psychos or anything that really kind of brought it into example. It's the example of our society, especially here in Canada, right? Which, if I remember right, you're Canadian as well. I am Canadian. Okay. This society has basically cowed us, castrated us. They've made it so that right now, in our country, no matter where you are... Okay, look, I don't give a shit about what you think about the state of the country. We're not talking about the country. We're talking about me. And specifically, you implying this into me. So quit the bullshit. What did I say? When have I ever advocated for people taking a pacifist stance? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, sorry. The, uh, so, what have I said specifically that prevents people from yeah. defending themselves well, just, yeah. from violence? You have said all kinds of little Say things. Say it. Specifically. Well, no, not right. all kinds go of things. To, not this and that. Be specific. Street, I can, right? This is my stream. I will say what I want. And you're going to right, answer my questions to, to my satisfactions. Street. Or I'll just mute you and go on without you. Okay. That's not going to get us anywhere, but... I don't give a shit about getting anywhere. You are here to justify your explanations or make a fool of yourself in front of the audience. Well, that's just it. I mean, uh, you keep talking about it on everyone's stream that I've talked to you with, even on my own. like Talking about what? Basic going along to get along, right? Okay, when have I said that? Concept. Literally on mine and Hermit's Street. I am 100% sure of that. Really? Like you just want to essentially keep your head down, go with the flow, don't, don't try to bring any attention to anything, and just get through. And that's what led to every downfall in society. Really? And that's what we were talking you, about. You can't think of any longer-term objective that I have put out there. Not one. Those are some. The, the, no, 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 you, you the, say that the, I have only the, said, the, go along to get along, the, just keep your head down. Yes. That, that's it? That's where it ends? That's what I hear every time we talk. Then apparently you're fucking only... deaf. Oh, really? Yes. Hey, give, me, give me some examples of where you thought that people standing up for themselves, citizens getting together, where you've mentioned that was a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. You, you see, that wasn't what I claimed to say. I say well, what did you that there's an objective as to why you don't draw oh. undue attention to yourself. Such as? Because this shit, <laughs> all this bullshit, is falling the fuck apart and yeah. getting the eye of the government, the police, uh-huh. and all those people on you accomplishes right. absolutely fuck all for yourself the- or anyone around you. And this is what I tried to talk to uh, you and Hermit about the other day. If that's going to happen, because it has happened in the past, right? You agree with that, right? What has happened in that the way, past? Where basically people have just allowed things to slide, right? And tyrannical governments have come in and absolutely annihilated them by doing, first of all, Mass arrests. Who's on the list today? And uh, that book I tried to get you guys to look over, the uh, Gulag Archipelago, it basically drawed it all out there for you. And it's exactly what's going on today. So, but yes, we had the truckers and stuff doing their thing. That was cool for a while, you know. But at the same time, words don't matter to these people. The, the people that are looking to put boots on necks, they use words for a living, right? So words don't mean anything. You can say you're upset. You can say, oh, you know, this has got to change, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're, put, you're fucking making up someone and then giving them my face. How about you address what I have actually said instead of putting up this straw man? What straw man? This straw man that you seem to give my name. No, no. What have I said specifically 
that is advocating for what you're claiming I'm advocating for. Well, like I said, the whole go along to get along thing has been said a few times. I'm almost certain of it. Almost <laughs> certain. Definitely certain of it. Definitely certain of it? Then you could pull up a clip. Yeah, if I was uh, looking for them, I could pull them up. Of course. Yeah, because, uh, let me ask you, do you advocate in people going out and committing acts of violence in defiance? Do you want people to do that? Dude. Does Do you want pe- yes or want no that? question, Chris? Yes or no, no question? No, of course I don't. I don't oh, so now you're saying people need to go along to get along. No, I'm not. It's not what uh, but, I but, want. But people, people so. shouldn't go out and commit horrendous crimes. They shouldn't go out and hey. stab 20 plus people. No, no, no. No, let, you, you got to go along to get along there. Let me finish, Tony. It's not that I want them to do it. It's just that's what it's always come down to. This isn't the first spin of the wheel for us. It might be the first spin of the wheel on a grand scale between the Western world, but it's not the first time this stuff has happened. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm well aware that the violence is inevitable. Hey, Chris, my turn. Yeah. I'm well aware that the violence is inevitable. And I have admitted as such. And that is exactly why I tell the people who are listening, the people who I want to live to the other side of that violence, not to be the uh-huh. ones that initiate it, because the ones that initiate it are going to fucking die. Dude, we're all going to die someday. What, what his thing, nobody ever looks at the first person, right? And uh, something that's been mentioned a few times. Nobody ever looks at the first person. They always look at the second and third before they start joining in a group, Right. And, yeah, I'm going to be the first one to admit, I, I don't like the idea that we have to do this at all. But this is the shit we're facing everywhere. Right now, we are facing it on every fucking continent. The Nazi idea hasn't gone anywhere. Right? Yeah, and I question your understanding of that particular era of history. So you might want to hold it off on the history lessons a little bit. Like I said, um, I still come from a time where that was taught in history. Yeah, taught by the same people who lie to your face right now. Yep, most likely. So but you believe I it? Can, I don't know. I mean, I go get my info from others as well. I mean, I compile my info. And like I said, that one book that I mentioned to you guys, it's a great read because it then was... Can you uh, fucking I quote it? Fact. Can you pull it up and quote it instead of saying, hey, go read this book and then you'll understand? Well, yeah. I mean, it's a book. You quote it. You can go look up a book about the mass arrests and stuff that they were doing. And, uh, yeah, no shit. They fucking do that. Is anyone in chat regar- is anyone in chat even remotely surprised that there have been mass arrests and imprisonments for political purposes throughout history? Oh God, what a revelation! How fucking shocking. Well, yeah, okay, but that's. Not what was going on 10 years ago. This is more of a recent thing. You're seeing they're not even trying to hide. But they're going to get away with it because everybody will sit there and say, well, they didn't come for me today. So and what have you done? That's the biggest what have you, thing. What have you done? You're, you're, you're a big advocate for this done. kind of independent action. What, what are you doing right now? I'm currently working right now. Oh, oh, working, so, work, working at this very house. moment. Uh, so, go. so you're you're a good tax paying citizen that obeys all the laws. No. <laughs> Come on now. Are you? So you're not no. a tax paying citizen that obeys all the laws. Not all of them. No, most of us don't. But most people don't. Do you obey just um, enough laws to keep the cops from knocking at your door? Probably not. So, are, so the cops are knocking at your door? No, they, they haven't come. So you haven't broken enough place. laws to get the cops to knock at your door? Probably not. It depends. Well, if the cops haven't um, knocked on your door, then clearly you're keeping a low profile. Uh, I mean, uh, they've been out, but uh, nothing serious like, and, you know, 
anything that led to charges. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, people are going to fucking call 5-0 on you whenever they want. But that's uh, another group of, group of people that essentially play the game to try to kind of keep themselves off that list, right? As I stated, the daily list of arrests that is right down the fucking road. If not, it's already here. And, you know, these people, they will do that kind of shit on map when it counts even more, right? Okay, so yeah, let's that's say, not the discussion. You keep going off into these tangents about larger people. Let's continue okay. the video for the, a little bit. Go ahead. The, Kevin, Kevin said, I agree with you, Kevin. Go ahead, Griff. Well, I mean, when people fucking go along to get along and the government is the ones they're going along to get along with, that's what led us to Nazi Germany. And that's what's led us to where we are today. So if you're not willing to stand up and fight for your rights and your freedoms and the well-being of your children or all children, right, and take a stand against a totalitarian government, then when they come and stick a fucking needle in your arm or a bullet in the back of your head, death comes either way. Okay, so okay. what exactly is your point there? That uh, fearing it is, there's no point in fearing it. Well, I mean, we're all afraid, obviously. We all have fear. Anybody that tells you they haven't been afraid is a fucking liar. Um, but fearing the outcomes that are coming no matter what, no matter which way, there's no way to live a life either. So everyone should self-delete at five rather than trying to live to 85 because, hey, the outcome's the same. No. Oh, so why, there's a why, point to living why, longer. Why, there's a point to self-preservation. No, there's definitely a point to self-preservation. Well, then why are you, are you equating the out, Then why are you equating the outcomes of death comes anyway? Okay, so, so what, no yeah, point but trying but to delay it. Like, like where do you draw the line on where you say enough's enough? Well, apparently, you know I draw I mean? the same. Apparently, I draw it the same place you do. Well, I hope we all draw it at the same place. It's just I hope it's a better place than where we are now. Okay, now you see, my understanding is that lines are set, are things that you draw, so that when people cross them, you punish them for it. Of course, we. You mean society so where do you, in general? So apparently, you and I have similar lines because neither of us have punished the people who are fucking with society. Well, to this day, no, we haven't. Now, does that mean we can't? I don't believe so at all. I believe that we, the people, have the power to take back this country and other countries and. Just get things right where everybody else has literally done everything wrong based so you on think, corruption. So you think that this system can be salvaged? The system, yes. The way the system is set, no. A huge no. Hmm. In that case, I think that's probably where we don't see eye to eye on this. We'll continue a okay, so further. yeah, no, look, go ahead. We're all gonna die, but guys, every fucking one of us. How would you like to live? No, he's most. I guess he's here. I want to enjoy the time I have left. Yeah, yeah. brother pooping. Pooping's here, eh? Pooping. <laughs> but did you like that comment by Kevin? I'm a bleach gorilla. Damn it. Yeah. Easier time convincing a gay guy into becoming a straight. <laughs> They're true Megtow. I think they try to seduce Megtow men because it's like a big ego boost for them. I think Kevin's exactly correct. It, it is. Yeah. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Yeah, good one, Kevin. <laughs> Holy smokes, there's DB Cooper. But yeah, I'm I'm I mean I'm almost wondering because like I've heard Gray talk like that for a long time now. Every time I've talked to him or heard him. He talks about the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of makes me wonder, is Gray a glowy? I don't know. Like, is he the glowy that's inside that group? 
could be. I don't know. There's probably if look, it's a big enough one to get noticed. Obviously, it's big enough where mm. they they went after yes, the perceived leader. Yes, so. Reverend. <laughs> yes, Reverend. I don't know why it wouldn't be. <laughs> uh, it... All right. So. Yeah. Because I advise people to not go on violent rampages, I'm a glowy. No. No, like I said, I might have used Glowy as did editor. All right, it was the word I had on hand. And I was actually surprised that other people kind of had to say on that. And I don't really want to go any further into that, but when people started reaching out to me and saying, Oh yeah, I think he's a glowy too, I was like, Well, maybe I spoke at a church. Uh Glowy, I don't think you work for the government. Okay, Greg? And I stated that to Hermit today. I told him. Yeah, I might have used that a bit out of a term. Defeatist might be a better term. No, it doesn't sound great. But yeah, well, I, at least it does explain your perception of me a little more accurately. So, yeah. So yes, I don't think you actually work for Justin Trudeau. At least I don't know. Oh, um, I, but I, I honestly, I'd expect one fuck ton of a paycheck in the mail if I did. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know why you would be here. You know what I mean? But that type of talk is... Well, well no, no, no. Clearly, like me being a glowy, the, like the best thing that I could do would be to get an uh -huh. influential following and then try to steer people's actions in a way that benefits the power of the government. Exactly. And here's the thing. The reason why I use that term is because, as I stated... I kind of compared it to what I've seen from family courts, right? And how their systems are set up. So you have lawyers and judges and people who work for those offices, right? All knowing that they are working based out of a corrupt system. And they know that what's happening to you as a father, because it's mostly fathers, is wrong. And do you know what they tell you to do? Keep paying the bills, keep fucking following our rules, and don't worry, someday it might change. And, and that's people. And, and that's that's the type of people. What's that? And, oh, that's, that, that and that's what you of, believe. And that's what you believe I am. I'm one of those type of people for the manosphere. For the manosphere, it seems like that type of person where it's like, you know, the idea of keeping up with with what you're being told to do, all that is basically the only way, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure most people don't want to be told what to do. I'm sure you don't want to be told what to do, right? When you can go to the bathroom, when you can drive your car, things like that. It, it entirely depends Maybe. on the context of what I'm being told what to do. If I'm being compensated with money, or some sort of right. favor, then yeah, I'm going to do what I'm told because that's what expected of me. <coughs> that's the agreement. Okay, that's a job, though. Yeah, that's when you're being told what to do. Right. It's a job. Okay, that's very different. Also, I mean, if like, I'm looking day for day, day advice, day control of if, I'm, if I'm stuck on something, if I'm confused about something, or I don't know a path forward, then yeah, I mm -hmm. reach out to other people and say, hey, what do you think I should do in this situation? What are your thoughts on the matter? That's, that's different. I mean, I mean, like, actual fucking... Then you might have like to right, be more specific right now, than just being told what to do. Yeah, well, I'm going to. So, right now, it was released in the UK, I believe, where there are, sorry, France, they jacked up the, the electrical bills, right? And I believe in the UK, they just stated that they're going to put people on a time frame like what they did in california right did you hear about that mm, yeah i know um, some when of the rough approach power power and stuff like right well it's basically they control now when you use power right so as ridiculous as that sounds do they though right what do, do they does really not, does they, they don't control ridiculous? when you use electricity 
what's stopping any well, of these people yeah. from going out, buying a gas powered generator, paying for the gasoline, and then using that? Yeah, but they're already paying for a service that now somebody else controls when they use. Yeah, but that's, okay, not, so, the, that's not the same thing. They're so dictating control you, over and, their power. Like, like are you going to say, like, right. oh, no, it's not fair that my channel subscription that I'm paying for doesn't allow me to watch whatever I want, whenever I want? No, no, no. That's, I mean, that's a different story altogether. Um, no. No, that's that's like the same thing. You're with... you're having you're ta- you're saying that okay, someone well, who does have freedom to use power through an alternate source can't use power because their primary supplier is fucking them over. Okay, that's not the supplier. Though. That's the government. That's going to be under government regulation, just like with our farmers right now here in Canada. Right, they're getting told. They get to fucking control what they do and what they use on the farms, right? Or when it comes to using even just the nitrogen, right? But in other places, like over in fucking, what was it, Denmark? They're actually going to reconfiscate the land that these people own and still put them on uh, nitrogen uh, reserves, essentially, or cutbacks. Okay, so that's controlling the food system right there, right? And that's, that's controlling here in the portion of the food system that they have ownership the, of. What happens if these farmers have, just say, oh, okay, no? What happens then? What's the punishment? Uh, huge fines. Fines that they can't afford. Fines if they, what, sell the food? If, no. Well, that's just it. If you, even in some places, well, we've already seen it in the States where they said, if you don't destroy it, Right? We're going to tax you the fucking hell if you sell it. So they destroyed it. It's all part of that same system. Yeah? They're taking control over everything. And it's happened before. Greg. It has happened before. And like I said, if you go read that book or listen to it... I'm to well aware chapter. you can stop shilling your favorite book. I'm pointing out that oh, you're... Not but my favorite, these, people, these, people have a, these people have a choice. Well. They can just say, okay... Yeah, this is this is your problem now. I'm going off to do something else. Fuck your food. Okay, so you think that they should just walk away from their whole farms, family-owned businesses that they've had for decades, land that they've already purchased from government officials, and pay taxes on, it. and that? Well, why do they have to grow food? Door. Can't they grow some other crop, something else not bound by the same regulations? Not that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure it blankets all farming. Yeah, Except they just turn around and like sell their farm to someone else willing to take the bad deal. <sighs> I mean, would you buy a broken car with no engine? But yeah, I mean, either broken way, car with no engine, but apparently, about... apparently, is still being financed enough to run. It's not a broken car with no engine. It's, bu- it's like buying a car, but you only get to use it for one company's taxi service, and they take a good chunk of your revenue. Okay, so you're saying that you agree with what they're doing here when it comes to that. Oh, I'm, I completely agree with what they're doing. What I'm not saying is that people have no choice in the matter. Well, that's, you're given a bad deal for a bad deal. That's not a choice. A bad no, no yes a, a bad deal is a bad deal. If someone come someone comes up to you and says your money or your life, you don't get to choose. Yeah. No, I keep my money and my life, and you give me your shoes. When you're negotiating sure. from a position but, of weakness, you uh, take what you can, not what you want. Well, that's just it. Do, do you believe that we and our farmers and people that work in the oil fields and stuff like that, we're at the advantage or at, at the disadvantage? We're the oh. point of weakness? Oh, we're absolutely like at the weakness, so we have to take a bad deal. But we don't have to take the bad deal that they want us to. So what would you recommend? Or, or what do you think that they have options for? Well, for one thing, they're under no obligation to work in this particular field. These people who no. are having all these electrical concerns. They can look at their electricity consumption 
decide what's worth it to them. Maybe they can cut down on some luxuries. Maybe they can cut down on some of their electrical stuff instead. Go for alternative forms of power or, you know, just get up and move. These farmers, they can change out their professions. They can switch out various regulations. I'm sure that there's tons of ways that these farmers can get into a similar field while not having to deal with these direct consequences. So you want all the farmers, or you think that all the farmers should just walk away from the bad deal and stop farming? Well, what's you the do government going to do? BK what's the government going to do if no one's right. making? What's the government going to do if no one's growing food? <laughs> we start, and then what? I don't know. I like to eat personally. Oh, um, then they so win. so the farmers <laughs> should just go along to get along because you like to eat. No. No, absolutely not. Quite the opposite. Quite the so, opposite. You see, I'm stating a what way the, in which the farmers do, get out of it. You're complaining, but not offering any solution for these farmers. At least I have an answer for them. Yes, your answer is to walk away. You yeah, the answer is to walk them away. Do whatever they want. And let, and let and the government face the consequences. Because what's going to happen when all these starving people start looking for food? Uh, it, well... Then again, where do they go? Where would be the first place they would go? Oh, probably their neighbors, grocery stores. No, the government handouts. Right? Where, where's the government going to get the food? <laughs> That's just it. I mean, they only they only need a certain supply of it. So, you know, I'm it's sure. So all are, these are, star- so all these starving that, people, that, that still- they're just going to go. Oh well, the yeah. government doesn't want to give me food. Okay, I guess I'll just starve to death and let my children starve. You really think they're going to do that? You think, it, you think it would be a first time? As I've stated, this has all happened before. Homie. I mean, the Russians did it to the fucking Bolsheviks or whatever they were called. That's what they did. They took all the farmers and kicked them off the fucking lands and then reclaimed the lands and then wondered why nobody was farming. All because they couldn't get the wonder. Uh, wonder you, genu- <laughs> you genuinely think that they didn't know that was a consequence? When uh, you really think it, that the Bolsheviks did not intentionally put out a famine to kill millions? Really? No, I, I mean, you, you think that's by that accident? Do you think the people in charge of this people. shit are that fucking stupid? No, but some of them are. Do you think that the people you think the people at the top are so stupid that they'd think that taking yeah, all the farmers the off their people. land, taking all the wheat seed away, that people yeah. wouldn't be starving on mass? You, you think that it they're wasn't that stupid? the uh, it wasn't the very top people. The top people were just putting down numbers for them to reach, right? And when they couldn't reach those numbers, they had to go to extreme measures because. Back then, all they cared about was the happy report at the end, right? When they couldn't reach those numbers, they just were like, oh, it's the farmer's fault. It's not our fault. It's their fault, because they can never be wrong, right? And like I said, it's all happening before. It's coming again. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see people fucking starving to death in the streets in our lifetime. I mean, we should have cured fucking world hunger long ago. Well, this yeah, the problem is, as soon as you feed people to their capacity, they start breeding at a rate that makes sure that the next generation starves. You're not going to solve world hunger by <laughs> well, feeding people. No, no. No. Like I said, it's something that could have been taken care of. But uh, these people are big on solutions. What is the... Uh, Little trifecta the guys like to mention. Where they basically create the problem. And then they create a solution which leads to another problem. So you're always basically looking to them for a solution. Keeps them in power, right? Assuming they can provide the solution. Well, generally their solutions are not very good. So so their solution is just enough to treat the problem. But how are they going to solve yep. the problem of mass starvation when they have no food to give? Well, there you go. That's where we pay the price again. Right? 
this is not a price I'm sure we want to pay. Do you want to pay that price? I personally don't want to pay that price. So, I would rather. So say, we just hey, need to. Okay. So we need to go along to get along in order to not pay that price. What do you mean? They're gonna. They're gonna exactly. Well, you're advocating for keeping all this stuff going as is, so that you don't starve to death. All these people need to keep taking these bad deals because you don't want to go hungry. No. The bad deal shouldn't be the only option. Okay, do you have another wait, option? Yes. Revolution, baby. All right. Start it. You join it? You? Fuck no. I don't trust your leadership. Why not? Because you don't think things through and you make poorly reasoned arguments. You're barely even charismatic, for fuck's sake. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, I don't think you have what it takes to lead a revolution. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. And you clearly haven't, cause, so apparently nothing about this has really been inciting enough for you to consider starting one or actually try to... Well, consider one, maybe, but you haven't actually tried. No, I, I mean, right trying to get now, someone I else? Advocate, trying to get someone else? I advocate for... for for people to essentially separate themselves from this uh, insane fucking government as much as possible. And uh, if they think that just because a face is going to change or a party's changed, that it's going to get any better. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have too high hopes on that one either. And I'm a defeatist for advocating the exact same thing. What are you, you're saying? You want? To I have you? openly said multiple times that people need to focus on disconnecting from the existing system and establish self-sufficiency, not putting their trust into any political party. And yet, I'm a defeatist to you, which you, you well, said I, I, I was never really say that. Great. Really, 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 never. Well, never um, was. But I, I, I'm proud to say I'm wrong on that. If you did. Well, Absolutely. I would rather you think exactly that way. Freedom, independence, the idea that you have control over your life and that that's how it should be. That, that's, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Here's where our differences lie. Okay. You think that the system as it exists can be saved. You don't want to sacrifice a shit ton of people in order for change to happen. No, we're going to sacrifice those people no matter what. Exactly. That's the So why do you say part. things like, I don't want to see people starving in the streets. I want revolutions. Like, no, change ain't going to happen no. until there's a massive body count. People need to suffer more. Well, we're already accumulating a massive This is body not count. suffering. How many family members <laughs> have you watched starve to death? Mine? None. Okay, that's the thing. Until every single person can point to a family member that has died of starvation, no one yep. is going to take action. And sadly, that's, you may be 100% right on that. And that's why because I don't want the people look at today... What's happened in the past. That's why I don't want the people today to get violent. I don't want them to even start to entertain these thoughts of starting a revolution or trying to change the existing government. Because like by and large, they don't even have a replacement system. You can't just commit violence and then things work out. Uh, yeah, no, nobody said you could. Nobody said you so could. what I advocate, as I have advocated time and time again, is that people focus on surviving the bullshit that is to come. Right. But all I've ever heard you say is surviving keeping your head down. You know what I mean? That sounds, and I might have misunderstood you, but it sounds like you're just telling people to get on your knees, kiss the boots, get through the day. See, that's your projection right there. And that's all I heard. Um, hey, if there's more to it, I'm glad to listen. I would rather be wrong. 100%. Not just based on what you're you're telling me here, 
But what you have to back up is true. I would rather be wrong. I've got a shit ton to of time of live streams with Yetus. I don't know how many of my live streams you've watched specifically. Uh, all I've ever seen on there was games, but that was just as a quick view. Well, there's the uh, most recent Red Pill Cult meeting on Odyssey, and then there's the various stuff on Yetus's channel. And there's yeah, also I, uh... been and there's also been non gaming content on my YouTube channel as well. So I'm guessing you didn't watch those. Nope. I don't watch Yetus either. I mean, I watched a few back in the day, but not much was really relevant to me. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have good content. And yet you felt it totally appropriate to make a public statement about me based on a very narrow view of me. Well, it's a personal opinion. When you make a personal opinion on a public platform to a third party, it stops becoming a personal opinion and becomes a public claim. Okay, well, tell it what you want. That's what I gather. I mean, uh, like I said, it's only for me, but it was just my thoughts. Would you rather me be dishonest with you and say that you're absolutely perfect? I mean, what, what would you want me to say? I, I believe we can have honesty with each other wholeheartedly. I think that maybe before making such a statement, it would have been more prudent to look into a greater amount of my content than you had. Perhaps I, I not. Perhaps our, not mention me by name. Discussion. Perhaps not mention me by name multiple times, continually dragging the conversation to that point. Uh -huh. You know, you could have kept it vague with like, "There's some people who I wonder if," or "There's this one guy who I wonder if." You drag okay. it out by name, then that's a public statement about me. And given that it comes right. from a falsehood based on a misrepresentation of my character. That is, by definition, slander and defamation. Okay. All right. When can I expect the lawsuit? Oh, no. I, the court is Wait. quite simply public opinion here. Okay. Like, my chat, is, well, like, my, opinion, chat my followers, those are the wrong. only people who actually matter in this. Uh-huh. And like I said, I would rather be wrong. And if I have misjudged you, okay, then I will absolutely apologize to you publicly and personally. But I have no idea. I'm just going off your word right now. Precisely. Well, then you can look at the body of content and get back to me. And I will. I absolutely will. But I mean, I based it off our conversations, right? That we had together on other people's streams and on mine. And. That was the concept that I walked away from. I mean, it really did seem like you had the defeatist aspect, right? And we all have seen those people in history and it just it never ended well. Ever. They generally portray the people that are closest to them. People who have the most trust in them. And I think we have enough of that in the world to go around right now. Right. I don't see how that's relevant. Oh, um, well, essentially being on high alert or stuff like that. Of course, very relevant. Do you really think that anyone with that kind of attitude would survive in this particular sphere? Yes. Yes, I do. Actually. Okay. I'm not talking like the you, black. I'm not talking the black pillars or the MRAs. No, no. This no. particular sphere, this particular subsection of the manosphere, that most people fear to tread. Which would be? Do you honestly think that people would have would have requested specifically that I make a channel to speak on my own if I hadn't been saying stuff that actually resonated with them, that they didn't find value? Do you really think that so many people would be per so persistent for so long over someone who was a defeatist? Yes, I believe it's possible that can happen, of course. Well, damn, chat. 
<laughs> he does not have a high opinion of you. <laughs> I mean, that that's just the way it is. People will believe even the most absurd lies right now. And you have a very along. low opinion of this community. I don't have a low opinion of this community. Well, you do because you think the, you think all this. So yeah, I can't. <laughs> Seriously, if I went and thought like, yeah, I think everyone in my chat would absolutely follow someone with a nihilistic, defeatist attitude who just told them to submit. You you don't think that's possible? I'm pretty when sure that anyone have, with that attitude has been huge, fucking scared huge. off or purged a long time ago. This isn't I, some I random so. sample size of the population. I would hope so, but uh, hey, man, these chameleons, the drifters, they still exist for a reason. Right? I'm not denying that because these they people still have exist. I'm not denying yeah, that these people exist, following. but you can't seem to distinguish between a cultivated community and the general population. Well, I think our, our community is pretty decent compared um, we have some amazing people in our community who have gone above and beyond uh, time and time again. And, you know, we've had new people enter that have been basically in a rut most of their lives. And they finally found some sort of liberation, which is fantastic. Or they found a way out of their essentially shitty situation. Like I said, my goal is to just keep guys breathing for the most part because I've looked down those dark holes when I've gone through the, the whole divorce racket and parental alienation. I don't know how to relate to young men as well. I personally can't. I would not want to be dating right now as a 19-year-old. I would rather go back to World War II than fucking face that. Or coming up in this world where they're basically told from the cradle that they're hated. You know what I mean? And they're garbage and they're weak and they're without substance. Which is totally not true. Well, I will continue spreading my message the way I do it. And you know what? If we can come together in the middle, so be it. And that's what I would like to see for our community. I really would. Yeah. I'm not all about the come together thing. Okay. Well. Because that's how do you not go my about objective. Doing that? Quite simple. What is your I I want as many people who will be useful to me in the future to survive the coming bullshit. Right. And are you giving use back? Or what's the deal there? You're giving something back, right? As a part of that community? That, well, you'd have to watch my content to see exactly what I give back. But I do my damn hey, to give people the most logical examination of various things trying to cool their emotions so that they can pick their own future, which is most beneficial to them. Because I don't know what each one of them needs. But I can no. give an analysis of problems that might help them understand their situation so they can adapt to it better. In much of my other content, I focus on ways, how can people get off the grid? How can they disconnect from the system? What uh -huh. potential career paths could they follow right now and steps to that? So, why have you never mentioned that with any of us when we've been together? Like, I think you mentioned something about jobs once, or a job, but uh, I believe it was very brief. I mean, those kinds of conversations I would happily have with you. That's not the subject of the streams that I'm guests on. I'm not going to bring that stuff up when it's not the topic of conversation. Well, we've, we've talked on the basis of 
people being self-sufficient, self-reliant a few times. You were in the chat for that. Yeah, you were I'm on not the, the expert on that. I bring in callers who are the, who are experts in this situation and prompt them and go for a deep dive on them. I can give some basic advice in that regard, but I know I'm not an expert on it. Well, I don't think most people are. To be honest with you, we just do the best we can. It's what we got and what we know. Right? Would you agree? Hmm. No. Most people okay. don't live up to their potential. They do what they believe oh. is necessary to get along. They don't do the best yeah. with what they can. Oh, I can agree with that, dude. Like I said, anything that's uh, better enough as a whole and like you said, it helps the people move forward to deal with that. Accept it. I am 100% behind as long as it does no harm to anyone else. Yeah, so. and that's where, that's where the disagreement comes in. I don't pretend to be altruistic about this. I need these people to survive for me. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now we're going off in the weeds. Uh, all right. Like you're so still you know, looking Hitman's, at the very, Hitman's very profitable. <laughs> Are you saying we should recommend Hitman to or the job of a Hitman to people? You know what I mean when it, I say it. It, it, like, depend, well, it depends. It depends. Like, honestly, for most people, no, I wouldn't recommend that job uh, because it usually requires a shit ton of connections, and it requires the very real possibility of prison time. And someone who goes to prison right now, they're going to be, at best, a corpse. Or far yeah. more likely, some kind of liability. So, what you're saying is you don't bring a moral compass to that? What good does a moral compass do in the face of survival? You be suppressed. I mean, can you, uh, can you give me an example? Well, look at the lone wolf situation. I mean, basically, you're saying you're 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 almost a lone wolf, but you're willing to use other people. Right? Yes, and That's, I believe that most people make... are like that. In a yeah, life or death survival situation, if you're trusting on something like morality and goodwill, then quite frankly, I think you're a fool to put your trust into that. Well, it's something we used to have a lot of. Yeah, uh, back when times were good, back when people had the comfort and luxury of doing so, and they had a legal system that enforced such things, and they had an existing community, like, what? You think it's just going to come back just because we want it to? No, i got to deal well, with I a mean... whole bunch of people who I don't know from a hole in the ground. And I'm going to have to deal with a lot of them. I am going to have a far better chance of survival. If I look at this from the objective standpoint of cost and benefit, and look at what is in their self-interest, what is in my self-interest, how can those align, rather than trying to appeal to some kind of greater good. Well, without our morals, man, this is where we've ended up. Uh, no, I don't know how no, old you are. Are you kidding me? No, this is, this is where morality gets you. Morality Wait, gets you pregnant morality? men. Real morality gets you this system based on the idea of equality. The idea that because it's good, because it's right, because it's moral, you're willing to walk over however many bodies is necessary. No. This is the Thank result you. of a society Different. that values morals over objective truth. Bringing in these crazy ideas of men can get pregnant and it's okay to cut off kids' fucking hearts at a young age and say they're a different sex. That has nothing to do with morality. That is everything to do nothing. with morality. It's not your nothing. morality. It's everything to that, do with it, morality. It, it's These a hijack morality, maybe. But it's the same basic thing. No. These people genuinely believe that what they are doing is right. They are giving excuses as to why what they are doing is right. 
if these people were publicly shamed for this behavior, ridiculed and ostracized, they wouldn't do it because it's not objectively true. It's not objectively beneficial. They're doing it solely for the validation of being moral and upstanding citizens. Okay, yeah, no, they, they, dude, come on. Nobody in their right frame of mind believes that these people are moral. And I understand morality. No one in their right mind. I'm pretty sure that if you ask the average person on the street, are trans people stunning and brave? You'd get at least 50% of them saying yes. Okay. And uh, you know what? I don't even know if I'd argue that one, but I'd give it a try. I would give it a try. I would actually go out and ask these normal everyday people that I run into, not some, you know, uh, flag toting leftists. I would go ask the normal people, do you believe that this is moral and right? And I think we would be pleasantly surprised. At the very least, I think a bunch of them wouldn't openly object. Now, of course, it is going to depend well, on no. the community. Like, you're going to get very different results if you attempt this test in a place with under 10,000 people versus the heart of the metropolitan area. Right. So, what would be a fair test sample there? Eh, you'd probably have to do some kind of online survey. Honestly, there's a whole bunch of things to try to get a more objective. But I'm willing to bet that you'd get a good, sizable chunk of the population... You know, actually, you, you did bring up this example in the video, uh, COVID. Right. What about How many people got this objectively bad <laughs> treatment thinking that they were helping someone else? Many. Many. Now, vanity, was, it, the was it the correct thing society. to do from a survival standpoint? No. Was it the correct thing to no, do from a moral standpoint? No, because they didn't do it based on morals either. Some you people think, believe you think, these, you think these people didn't do it because of morality? They didn't do it because they thought no. it was right? No. Not all of them. Not most of them. No. I don't hmm. believe it for a second. Call me gullible, I guess. I guess I have more faith in them than you do. So why did they do it? If, so why did they do it if not for morality and not Most for people, objective survival? Why did they do it? Right. Most people did it, right? Either to keep their jobs in some cases, right? Others were to keep their living arrangements, all kinds of things. They they threatened everything. Everything. What name one aspect of uh of our normal society, where they didn't say, take this or else. They even wanted to... Well, actually, they did. In oh, Ontario, oh, I, I believe. I, oh, I, I, can, I can name one right off the bat. The construction industry. What are you talking about? I work in the construction industry. They told us the same thing. Well, so did I, and no one said fucking boo. Yeah, they told us the same thing. They basically... No, they did not. They did, no, that's the thing. They didn't tell us the same thing. No one said a goddamn word. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, they told us over here, same fucking thing, man. Like, uh, our primary contractors were telling us, look, we're going to have to get you guys fucking vaccinated or you can't work on certain sites anymore. And I mean, that was just limited to certain sites. But when you're going out to people's homes as well, not just big construction spots, um, they were the ones that generally asked the most. Yeah, well, Don't happen. worry, we slipped a few things under the radar. Right? Not well, many. It was absolutely not a requirement for any of the jobs that I worked at during the entire time. Really? Yeah. That's, that's strange. That is strange because uh, I heard it everywhere else too. Everywhere else, from fucking peanut factories and everything. They were saying the same thing. If you're not vexed, you can't fucking come in. And it's all because, you know, uh, essentially, their city's officials had control of their permits, right? Without those permits, couldn't move forward. 
So they basically gave them a bad deal, held a gun to their head, and said, do it or else. No, no, they didn't hold the gun to the head. They said, do it or get a new job. Yeah. Well, that's a lot to walk away from for some people. Some of us have huge amounts of money and time and sweat and effort invested in our business. Um, to just say, you know what? Screw it, I'll walk away. Call of a Sunday. That isn't an option for us. You know what I mean? Oh, it's absolutely an option. Like, it's just an option that they don't like. Well, I mean, have you have you operated a personal business? Have you put thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands into a business and said, yeah, it's just a roll of the dice if the government decides to shut me down? Or people start treating you like you're a walking disease because you're not vaxxed and masked and, you know, 18 boosters. Like, that was a hard pill for a lot of people to swallow. Yeah. No, I get yeah. that it's hard. Look, I get that it's hard. And I have, and and I, you, have start, I have started a personal business, invested quite a bit, bit into it, and it failed, but not due to any biohazard reasons. Well, I mean... That sucks. There's nothing, but I do know like, that people need shit done. And yeah. if people are going to be like, well, if you want to work on my place, then you better get the job. It's like, all right, find someone else to do it. Because there's a shit ton of people here that need work done. Demand yeah, for labor fine. has outstripped supply. Well, that's how I was waiting for a little bit. But uh, that soon got corrected. What are you talking not about? Correct. What do you mean corrected? It's fucking not corrected. There's what? still an abundance of demand for labor around here specifically and not enough people to fill the boots. Well, we, I mean, everyone that I know ended up hiring like companies from other fucking provinces and everything. Yeah, it must be an industry difference or maybe a, or maybe the scale of the project. Be. How big were you on? Eh, fairly small size. That's the other thing. When you get into too large a group, that's when you become more vulnerable to this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, that part, and, you know, if you... Just because you do a good job and somebody's happy with what you've done for them, doesn't mean you get the next job. Right? Somebody comes in five cents less, they're, <laughs> they're the new guy. Well, yeah, they do that, I... and then they do a shittier yeah. job, and then you get paid more to correct the mistake and do the job. Well, generally, they just uh, let it go through. Unfortunately, my friend, I have seen so many bad jobs done that were just pushed through and green-lighted. I was surprised at some point, and I don't get surprised too much anymore. Oh, I've seen that happen, too, and I've been called in to correct those. I'm called in for a couple, but nothing serious. Yeah, and probably it's depends general, on specific industry and location. But yeah. quite frankly, we're splitting hairs. I think that the net thing is that the larger a group that you're in and the more dependent you are on larger scale contracts, the more vulnerable you are to this kind of bullshit. That is true, too. But I've also had to deal with the unpleasable customers, too. I mean, they're sometimes... <laughs> Worse. Well, yeah, but know. that's where supply and demand comes in. If the supply for your services outstrips the demand, then you can just be like, well, you ain't worth it. Bye. I'm going to go do someone else. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I've done that once. Mostly I don't because, you know, even dealing with it, your business is still working, still pulling in numbers. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what matters. Right. Go along to get along? I, no, I personally, uh, I like most of my customers. Uh, I mean, well, no, but right there, you're advocating that when you've got a bad customer, rather than dropping them and moving on to someone else, you just go along to get along. Well, to a point. Like, you know, we don't just go, shut up, Karen. Obviously. 
But at a certain point, you still have to cut off the worst of it and say, look, this is not what you're paying for, or this is outside the realm of expectations or possibility. And if you want it, you're going to need to go to like Disneyland or something. And we've had those customers too. Mm. And they had to be corrected. Plain out. Because either way, once our contracts are signed, we have to get along. And if your expectations are too high, or, you know, like I said, into the realm of insanity, the uh, contractor's got to correct it. Plain and simple. Like I said, I don't know what you do. You said you were in construction. Uh, you willing to share details? Nope. Okay. Well, it's still share on that is that it's long is that it's long hours and hard labor. Well, that's everything when you work for yourself. Personally, I've been doing these jobs. Right up until 1 a.m. Christmas Eve, my cell phone light, just because I wanted to make it ahead. Hmm. And that's part of the sacrifice. Well, I think we've well, run through all of this. So do you have any conclusions that you'd like to say to the chat? Any final words? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, you go first. It's oh no, chance. I'll be no, I'll be continuing on afterwards. I'm just going to call on one or two guests after this to have a, a post discussion. But got to wrap, okay. but but got to start wrapping it up soon because Hammerhand's going to be streaming and chat's getting fancy. All right, brother. Well, have a good one, everyone. Stay safe. Stay free. All right. Good talking to you, Chris. You have a good night. You too. Okay, anyone who wants to join the post-operation discussion before Hammerhand gets started, hit me up on Discord. I'll take up to two guests. <laughs> yeah. Although I can't see exactly when Hammer's starting, so maybe I got the wrong channel pulled up here. But hey, you guys can see the screen. Oh, wait, there we are. Uh, well, 10 minutes. So, let's see. Might get Hermit in here. One second, everyone. All right, sweet. Hermit's down. All right, welcome, welcome, Hermit. <laughs> so, dude, that was like a fucking pit bull versus a toddler. <laughs> so you don't think I'm a glowy anymore? <laughs> or an exposed? It was basically I don't like you, therefore you're a glowy. But I haven't really watched any of your content, so <laughs> yeah, because like this is the thing, and honestly, I. Wish could switch over to Odyssey, but I've still got to get used to Streamyards and how uh, they, how Streamyards and Streamlabs and Odyssey talks to each other. But personally, from what I've seen of activities where actual feds were involved, they find people most likely to commit some sort of atrocity, and they keep an eye on them, and then they wait for an opportune moment to unleash them. Well, so it, it's funny because he's accusing you of everything he's doing. He's actively on streams telling people to get violent or almost get violent. And it's like, so if anything, you're the fucking glowy because Gray isn't advocating violence. Like, remember me, you and Real Talk were on my stream. He was he called in. He was getting too carried away. We told him to chill the fuck out. 
uh, you ended up leaving because I think he had to leave or something. And then we ended the stream and me and Real Talk talked to him for a minute. He got mad, left the fucking um, the chat and then messaged me some bullshit in Discord. And then ever since that, I was like, all right, fuck you, dude. Like, you can't jump on people's chats and start fucking... Because you you know they'll take anything you say, and if it's close enough, they'll they'll put it out of context, and then next thing you know, your house is getting raided by the FBI, and they're shooting your dog, and ain't nobody trying to deal with that. Yeah, and that's... Honestly, the FBI coming after you and icing your pooch, that's bad and all. But... At the very least, that's where it ends. I'd be far more concerned about someone in chat effectively being groomed by a Fed to be an instrument for destruction that distracts from the latest gaffe. Like that shit out in Alberta with the um, mass stabbing. Like, I that shit's way too fucking suspicious to me. I do not think it was entirely by happenstance. Yeah, that was crazy. I looked into it a little bit. But, uh... You just don't accuse somebody of being a glowy without evidence. When you say, I think that person is a glowy, you're basically trying to ruin their reputation. Now, it's one thing if you're off screen and you take somebody aside and you're like, hey, I think so-and-so is doing something suspicious. But to be on an active live stream and to be constantly calling somebody a glowy. It's like, dude, you're trying to ruin his reputation. He's not here to defend himself. That's why if you continue to play that stream, I jumped on and kind of put him in check because that's not fucking cool. Yeah, like, it stops being, a, as I said earlier, it stops being a personal opinion when you're publicly announcing it to a third party in front of an audience. It Then, like, if you're not factual in what you're presenting then it is slander and defamation. Because yeah, and in this community, you know, like, yeah. there's no benefit to being a Fed in this community. No. I mean, honestly, if I lost even one sub because of that, I would technically probably be able to, to press defamation charges. Like, I'd have to reveal my name and shit, so that'd be fucking stupid. But technically, that would be damage, damage to my career. So... Oh, yeah, it could have. If somebody actually believed that, first off, I don't think anybody actually believed him. But if somebody was dumb enough to actually believe him, you could have lost YouTube subs for from that. Unfortunately, some of his chat is fans of our chat, too. But either way, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, no, that's the thing. All I can do here is make my case try to clear things up as best I can and, well, be firm with it. And really, it's up to chat to decide. If they think that I'm untrustworthy because of this, well, that's going to be up to them. I've presented the best case for myself that I can. Yeah, that was worse than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. He had no good points at all. It was just... It'd be one thing if you watched the channel, but he said he didn't even watch Yetus, and you're on Yetus's all the time, so. Yeah, or even any of my content that isn't. I'm, honestly, I'd be surprised if he did anything but looked at the titles and thumbnails, and his only interaction has been when he directly talked in chat. I didn't get anything beyond that from him. Like, I don't think he'd watched any of my content. He just listened during that one stream. It kind of reminded me of a woman finally getting held accountable for her actions because he was just like on a, a live stream talking shit and he thought nobody at all was going to call him out for it and then he got called out and then he looked stupid and this is why you guys don't talk shit unless you have the facts to, br to back it up. Yeah. All right. Well, we got four minutes till Hammerhand streams, so... Everyone who's not already going to Hammerhand, please go to Hammerhand stream. I'm going to drop the link in chat for y'all. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a stream tonight, too. I'm kind of just doing a funny one. It's nothing serious. Going to just uh, make fun of some uh, alphabet mafia people. <laughs> Don't lose your fucking channel again, man. 
I know I'll be on my fifth one, but hey, my subs are slowly going back up, so I'm doing something right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, anyone, anyone here who's not already subbed to Hermit, please go sub or at least double check and make sure you're subbed. Yeah, and then yesterday I had a pretty good stream, so I was able to raise a hundred and twenty-two dollars for uh, one of the guys in the community because they kind of want to do the same thing I'm doing. They want to move over to the island. So I know $122 isn't a whole lot of money, but it's better than nothing, so. Hey, every dollar is appreciated these days, so. Yeah, so it, it was good to be able to help him out. And we just got to help more people out and stop talking shit. Like, don't accuse people of stuff unless you have fucking evidence. It, it was just like, I remember listening to Dak stream, and I'm watching, and I'm like, what the fuck, this is bullshit, and you weren't there to defend yourself. And I consider you and Real Talk two good friends in in this community. So I was like, "Fuck it, I got to jump on for a minute." Well, much appreciated, and for pointing me to that. But we're gonna wrap this up. We got two minutes twenty seconds till Hammer Stream starts. So thank you, Hermit. Thank you, everybody in chat, and thank you, Chris, for coming on and talking this out. You were a good sport about the whole thing. Yeah, it was totally, it, it kind of reminded me of, uh, remember Jurassic Park, the goat that was tied up to the fence? He was the fucking goat, and you were the T-Rex, eh. and he probably pooped his pants. I'll take the flattery, but anyway, gonna sign off now, so talk to you later, Hermit, and see you, All chat. Right. I'm gonna play yeah. you out, so head over to Hammerhand. <laughs>